This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today we're going to talk about what is actually the best staff in Elden Ring. Let's get to it. All right, so I've been doing a ton of research and I think I found every staff that is good for pure caster. Now, there's a few staffs out there that are for some unique hybrids builds that we're not going to talk about today because they're for unique hybrid builds. So you need like a lot of faith or you got to do a specific thing. They're like strength and faith based and stuff like that. We're not worried about those. We're going pure caster staves, ones that are mainly scaled off of intelligence. That's what we're focused on here today. If you want to see a guide on those other ones, maybe talk about some builds you can do with those, let me know down in the comments and I'll see about doing that in the future. If we come over here to my inventory, you can see we have a plethora of staves to look at. So first off, you were best early game, the one that you can get super, super early when you're just a fresh little baby character at like 20, 25, something like maybe even sooner than that. If you want to take a chance of dying and you don't care, you can get the meteorite staff. This is the best staff you're going to get that is going to carry you until you get to this location up here and you start messing around in uh, this location up here in the the wizards the the whatever this place is called what is this place called this the, the this whole area here until you get going through here because this is where you're going to get the best staff that you can get in the game for an intelligence based scaling character and even then you may want to hold on to the meteorite staff for a while until you can get this one upgraded fully because it's not going to surpass the meteorite staff until you get it upgraded much further. You can see right now it's sorcery scaling is at 249 at level 14 and the meteorite staff is at 248. Now the meteorite staff is going to do more damage with gravity based attacks so the rock sling is a really good attack in most cases in close quarters not so great because the rocks bang on the stuff you don't get the full brunt force of the spell itself hitting whatever the target is sometimes only one rock will hit sometimes two uh, sometimes not at all so it's not really good in close quarters but and out in the open, it's great. It's great for farming early game stuff, and it's going to put out a ton of early game damage. Even right now, having this thing at level 14 and only having one damage more than the meteorite staff, the meteorite staff is still going to be a better choice for rock sling. Now, I don't know later on until I get this thing maxed out. That's something that I'm going to put out a video about later. Right now, I just wanted to look at all of these and see which ones scale the best. And your Academy Glintstone staff is the one that scales the best. So if we take a look here at the other ones, its base is 170. And if we take a look at, for example, the Glenstone staff, this is only at level 13 and we'll cover that here in a second, but you can see its base is 165. So, and then I have it at level 13 here. It's at 233. Now, if we come over and we talk to this guy and we go to strengthen armaments and we come over here, you'll notice that we don't see the meteorite staff in either of these. That's because you can't upgrade the meteorite staff. That's why it's only going to do you so good until about early mid game to mid game. If we take a look here, if we take this to level 14, which is what this one is here at 249, if we take this one to level 14, you can see over here in the blue, it's only going to take it to 239. So it's not going to compete with the Glenstone staff because it already starts out at a higher scaling. Now, if we take a look at these other ones, you can see the astrologer staff. I have it at level 13. So if we upgrade it to 14, it's only going to be at 245. Once again, not as good as the Academy Glenstone. Now we're going to talk about this one here in a second, because technically this one is your best of the best because it scales really well. But the problem is, is it uses basically double your mana cost. And then if we take a look at the digger staff, same situation, 224 is what it would be if I upgraded it to 14, which is what this one here is, which still doesn't beat it at 249. Same thing with the Demi Queen, it's trash. The Karian, however you pronounce that, same thing, not as good. This one here, 
same thing, not as good. This one, once again, this one's terrible because this one, this one I, I technically is a one of those fringe build ones because it scales off arcane a little bit better than it does intelligence. It's like arcane strength, but intelligence is in there. And I kind of felt like eh, arcane, you do scale that a little bit. So I kind of tossed it in there. Um, if we take a look at this one, this one is just strength and intelligence. Once again, 214, it's terrible. Crystal Staff, um, 217, if we upgraded it to level, well, this one's a special one uh, like these, but you can see here we have them both at level four. This one is at 237, this one's at 217. This one is also a special one. It scales with the Sombers, and I have it um, at level five, and you can see there, it, it level six, it'll be at 240. So it still doesn't put out as much damage as this here. This just casts fast, faster. Now, this one here at level four, if we get it up one more level, it'll be at 252, which means it'll surpass this. But it naturally, its bonus effect is that it deals more damage, but it also uses more mana. So while it's good in certain situations, and if you do specific things, like if you have your flask set up uh, so that you can cast without using any mana, uh, if you take a look here, if I back out of this, I have my mix flask set with this tier here, which eliminates all mana cost while it's effective. So it's like 10 seconds of no mana cost. So in that case, I can cast with this, this staff like crazy and maximize my damage. But it's just an everyday caster in normal situations when you're fighting whatever. I've already basically moved on to this because I've kind of moved away from rock slam because there's a lot of situations where I found that rock sling just wasn't very helpful because I'm in a lot of situations where I'm in close quarters and I'm just missing out on the full damage of it. So I've just moved on to this one. Well, when I upgrade this one to its max, it's going to far pass anything that the meteorite staff can do because it's already one plus and I still have uh, what 11 more levels I think 25 is the max I still have 11 more levels to pump into it so it's going to be doing an absolute ton of damage your next best staff is actually the one you start out with, which is the astrologer staff. If you start out with an astrologer class, this is the one you start out with at 240. So you can see here all of the other ones don't even don't even match up to it. We're gonna ignore these two. Um, they don't even match up to the astrologer staff at 240. So the astrologer staff is actually really really good. If we go back over here and look. If I upgrade it again, it's going to be at 245. So it trails just behind the Academy Glintstone staff. Okay, so now that you know the Academy Glintstone staff is the staff that you want, how do you go about getting it? Well, it's relatively easy. So first off, I'm over here at the debate parlor site of Grace. And you come out the debate parlor site of Grace and you follow through this way here and it leads you up and around to an area where you can get a second key to get into the academy. You're gonna take that key once you get it and you are going to take it back to the dude that is over here at the Church of Erith, and you are going to give it to him. Then you come back over here to the Academy and you find his body and you can get the Glenstone Staff that way. The other thing that you can do is it has a chance to drop. I actually got mine before I even did all of that. It has a chance to drop from those guys right there. All of those guys that you see with those Glenstone helmets on, all of those casters, I know it's kind of rainy and hard to see, but all of the casters, the guys that fire the Glenstone bolts at you, those guys in the robes that you see right up there, they all have a chance to drop it. So if you don't want to get the key and you don't want to take it back to dude and you don't want to deal with all that, I mean, I recommend doing all that. That's really easy if you can't get it to spawn uh, or if you can't get it to drop. But like I said, I've gotten them to drop relatively easy from these guys right here. So you just kill them and they have a chance to drop it every time you kill one. So there's a pretty good chance that by the time you get through the academy and you kill all of them, you're going to have one drop for you anyway. 
then what you want to do is just start leveling it as quickly as you can and get it to level 14 or higher. If you can take it all the way to 25, take it all the way to 25. I have not leveled mine up because I was waiting to make this video and I needed it to be at 14 so I could show you the comparison for all the others. Now, uh, I wanted to take them all and go ahead and level them, but I'm having issues getting to the next location I need to get to to get be able to buy infinite five and six level stones. In conclusion, if you are playing a full-on intelligence-based caster, just use your astrologer staff for your first couple of levels, then go get the meteorite staff once you feel safe enough to do so. It's pretty easy to get over there. There's plenty of guides that show you how to do it, basically at a fresh baby character, how to just run over there and get it. Go get it, get the rock sling while you are over there. Use that for a while until you get to the academy. Once you get a glintstone staff, use all of the stones that you have in order to upgrade it as far as you can. Get it to it at least 14 and at least 14 it's doing one more damage with normal spells that then the meteorite staff will do the only time that the meteor staff is going to outperform it is if you are using a gravity based spell and so far the only gravity based spells i've seen that are worth using in normal situations is the rock sling spell so if you've moved on past using the rock sling spell for everything you can easily use the Academy Glenstone staff. Then once you've gotten to a little bit later in the game, you can get Lestat's Glenstone staff, which is actually really good and does a crap load of extra damage, especially if you upgrade it. So save all of your somber stones for this thing and use this one to upgrade it. Now, a little side note, because I know some people are going to ask about it. There is another staff that you can get a hold of. If we come over here to where she had the, the fingers lady here, uh, you can get the staff from what's her nuts, the moon queen but it's not going to do as much damage as the Academy Staff, even though it's some supposedly amazing boss weapon. So if we go over here and we take a look, you can see its base scaling is 166. So if we back back out to my inventory here, remember it's 166. The base scaling on the Academy staff before you put any points into it is 170. So it's already better. It's 166. It does one point more than the Glintstone staff, which is trailing behind the Academy staff pretty significantly at 233 compared to 249. Even upgrading it, it was not as high up as the um, staff. Now I wanted to get that, but I, I can't figure out there. You're supposedly able to use the moving bell towers to copy the things to get the rewards. So you can get both rewards, but I haven't figured that out yet. So I have not turned that staff in or turned the thing in to get that staff. And I'm not really worried about it because with the data that I have already, I am convinced that it's going to trail behind the Academy Glenstone staff. So yeah, there you go. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informational. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff so you can be notified when I upload other videos. I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you'd like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.